Violence in schools seems to be more widespread than BO at Disney World in June. Is it really a problem? What's causing it? Let's discuss. My name is Devin Siebold and this is the State of Teaching. Teachers today are being forced to defend themselves more than a Broncos quarterback, but is it in our heads? Statistics say no. Over the last 10 years, violence in schools towards teachers has grown an average of 3,200%. And if you didn't beat up your math teacher, you would know that's a very large increase. This past year alone, over 80% of teachers reported instances of victimization, physical or verbal. Is it teaching or Woodstock 99? And it came out of nowhere, hasn't it? Most teachers you talk to have even divided the behavior of kids up into two groups, pre-COVID behavior and post-COVID behavior, putting teachers under more pressure than a Wi-Fi hotspot at a Taylor Swift concert. Why are the kids suddenly extremely aggressive and violent in schools after COVID? Turns out it's all the studies that no one is talking about that point to addiction. Sure, kids used cell phones before, but the addiction was casual. Then COVID hit, TikTok took off. They spent a full year feeding off of online endorphins, hours of excessive unrestricted use, the short shots of adrenaline from TikTok that were just feeding their fire to get them endless gratification. Then schools went back and we had to cut them off cold turkey. Suddenly it was pay attention to me, the teacher, and not that brick of happiness in your pocket that helped you through the last six months. It's because children today have become more addicted to technology than a Kardashian to a film crew. Take away a child's phone, even temporarily, and they have physical withdrawals, grow angry, and have trouble focusing. Apple is their Adderall. Ask any alcoholic to go seven hours without a drink and you get Alec Baldwin versus the paparazzi. Same thing, but with kids and social media. I personally once witnessed a dean tell a student that they needed to take their cell phone. When the student refused, the dean gave them two options, suspension or give up the phone for four hours, and they chose suspension. Why do we not see that as addiction? Unfortunately, teachers have opened their door and turned into inadvertent rehab centers, and they're being blamed for sudden student lack of interest. We need to treat it as addiction. With cell phones, you just can't cut them off like Leo when his girlfriend turns 25. These kids resist and fight back. Parents and teachers need to work together to curb cell phone time and take an honest look at their child's usage. Set limits at home so when we set limits in the school, teachers aren't the villain. Congress needs to address the addictive nature of social media as well. Sending a student to school where they will be without their fix and then wondering why they get violent is ignoring the issue and needs to be addressed by a mental health professional. Till next time.